Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Thinking I I'm 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 thinking I should do something with this money. All this extra money that I've got. I I don't really know what to do with it though. I'm now confused. I'm like a, a, a rabbit in headlights. Well, we're not going to have any more expenses until the end of the month at least. From so... the makers of oh. Never Blink comes Pulpitation. The energy drink made with the discarded pulps of oranges and just a drop of rocket fuel. Pulpitation. Because sleep is for the weak. <laughs> more two point. More often. This is Two Point Radio. Pulpitation, because sleep is for the weak. Right, we got $19,000. What shall we do with it? I can't put another training course going at the moment. Uh, so that option is out. I don't want to go and build a research room yet, although I'm thinking cardiology might be a good idea, because then we've got extra diagnosis, extra diagnostics. I can possibly work on that. Uh, the other one that I was actually thinking of is we could put a set of toilets over in this side over here and also build a cafe which would get us some more money coming in and I'm kind of thinking that, that would be a good idea like we get some basic cash coming in first uh, there's a little bit of extra cash flow. Fluid analysis is another um, extract words for analysis and sometimes for fun. Um, no, the, the cafe over this way, that is minimum room size 5x4. I didn't realize it was quite that big. All right, so if you go over there, a 4x5 over there, like that. Uh, sure, I want it that close to this wall over here. You know, it. No, it, it actually, I can, I can go a bit bigger than that. Adds to room. I'm going to put it out like that. I'm going to go that big on it. And then we'll put the toilets here. I'll extend the toilets out. And then we'll go right there. Uh, quite close to the cafe. It's always good to have your toilets as close to the cafe as possible. For sanitary reasons. Um, <laughs> at least if you can. At least if you can. So there we've got the actual cafe bit. So that's got to go around that way. We will drop that in here. Let's let's uh, spin you around over there like that. So that one will go... What's she thinking that should go there? We drop that into that corner over there. Then we're going to want a food bin. Now where is the food bin going to go? She thinking the food bin should go over in this corner. I'll drop that one down there. And then we need the cafe tables and chairs. I'll put that one there. All right, we can space these out a little bit. I don't want to put you up there. That's too close. So if I put that one there like that, I could actually move that one. All right, it's it's letting me do it either one or the other. So I'll put you down there, and then that one will go over there. They're spaced out quite nicely now. I like that. And then this one here won't go in there. I've got room to put another one in here. It's kind of a double table there. You, you do see that quite frequently in different cafes, don't you? And then that one as well. And then we will do one extra one over here. Because that's not going to hurt, is it? Yeah, we'll have an extra table. It can go right up against the wall over here. All right, that one can go there. So I've got six sets of tables in here. I've got the food bin over there. I'll do another big bin as well. That one can go up that side. Then we will go with a radiator. That's not going to go into that side. I can put the radiator in there. And I cannot put a radiator in here anywhere. That surprises me. Alright, I'll tell you what, I'll put a radiator outside of the room. I'll drop that one down over there. And then we go with a plant. 
I don't have any room to put plants down here. I could put a plant right in front of the radiator. No, I can't. We're not allowed. We, we cannot. We, we don't. I literally don't have room for a plant here anywhere. Right, that's, that's not going to happen. A brow beater, that is too expensive. We, we definitely don't want to waste money on that. All right, well, I don't think I'll put anything else in. This is a prestige level two. I'll just leave it like that. I won't go any more than this. So build room right there. I've got a really nice looking cafe in there. That is absolutely fantastic. That's going to start getting people spending money over here. Then what I want to do is I want to go over to here and I want to copy that toilet. I want to bring that one over here and I'm going to drop that one right down in there. But then what we're going to do is we're going to add in just a little bit extra. It doesn't need very much in here. I just want one extra toilet cubicle. That's the only thing I need to add in to make this one fully functional how I want it. So I'll do that like that. So then I've got toilets over this side and I've got a cafe as well. I've got a radiator out over there. And then we'll go into basic items. We want a bench here. And I'll put a couple of benches there. And I'm also going to put a couple of benches down here and here like this. I haven't got any snack machines over here. I've got those. I'm thinking maybe we could... Uh, no, I won't take those at the moment. I will put a bin in here and I I've got a bin right there I've got another bin over there I've got I've got bins around in here haven't I yeah and I've got one there right I've got bins over that side so I've got one there we'll put another bin over here I know they're quite close together I think that's all right to start off with just just for now and fire extinguisher I don't have a fire extinguisher in there but if I put a fire extinguisher over here Invalid. Oh, right. It's got to go against one of those walls. It can't go against one of these walls here. I'll put a fire extinguisher up against that wall over there. And then hand sanitizer. I don't need to worry about It's the radiators that I mostly wanted. I wanted to be able to add in a couple of radiators. So I'll put one there. That's actually making that into a bit of a hot spot in there. So I will change that around in a second. I'll put this radiator over here like this. That's going to heat that up. And then we will go with a radiator out on that side to give a bit more warmth over here. And I'll put one down in that corner. It's going to heat that up. And this one... Well, I don't think... I think I don't actually need that one in there. I think that one radiator right there can go. If I pick that one up and I move it... There, it's instantly moved everything away. It's looking a lot better. I'll put this one over here next to this door for a minute. There. And if you mouse over it like that, it shows you the heat overlay. That's looking a lot better. There's all the money gone. All the money that I had, that has now been spent. But I've got toilet blocks over this side and we've got the uh, new, um, what do you call, over this side as well. This, what do you call, the restaurant click on you assist oh oh dear uh career goal train 50 doctors Ooh, nice. training course complete general practice too that means that the doctor is able to go and train the other doctor i can go in here i've got dr d is available for training for general practice do I want to train... Oh, that's general practice two. Should I train these two doctors up for... Uh, no, one uh, one doctor there. I can't remember. I, treatment and general... I think general practice to start off with. Right. Trainers available. Courses available. Research. We're not doing research at the moment. General practice two. It's going to have both of my general practice doctors out. So if I'll do basic general practice in here, and then I've got uh, Dr. D. She can go out from... No, actually, you can do it because you've got a faster training speed. Trainees available is just our student doctor. 
she is going to be a GP. I'm going to have her as a specialized GP. Right there. Start training. Because I'm actually thinking that if she's a specialized GP, then the other doctor that we've got, the uh, staff doctors here, not Isabel Fuddle, but D. Bart. No, not D. Barton. You're training. Uh, D. Grunt. Dr. D. Grunt. She's got research and she's got general practice. I could give her treatment or I could give her diagnostics and that would like boost the diagnosis skill. Although it's boosting diagnosis in the GP's office. Three GPs. Fully trained. But general treatment. General treatment would probably be better maybe. I don't have a treatment doctor. Maybe she should have been a treatment doctor rather than a um, GP. It was too late now. I don't think I can cancel the training course. Yes, I can. Cancel training course. Okay, right. Don't do general practice. Do general practice two so that I've got my two other ones and then I want basic treatment. So I'll go basic treatment first because that's a, a skill that we want to have out and done. Uh, any doctor really you're 140 percent training and you're also 140 percent so it, any of the 140 percent would be good i'll take that one right there she can she can do the training and then we'll go into here and i want your treatment aren't you we're not going to do gp with you you're going to do treatment and you're going to go for treatment and your diagnostics and you are going to be general practice so i'm not going to train you up there so we'll start training on there that's what we're going to want with this one we are going to have our staff out of action for 31 days, but I think that's going to be all right in the grand scheme of things. Like right, it'll it'll probably cost us a little bit just to start off with, but I think overall it's it's, it's definitely going to make a difference. So we get them trained up in just the the general treatment over there, and then once that's done, then I can do get the two doctors for general um, general practice uh, GP. Yeah, general practice. I get those two doctors trained in there. So it will take them out of the GP's offices just for a little bit. But it will then have two doctors trained in level two on that one. Which is, is going to be better. So yeah, I, I, I know, I know, I know we don't have the money at the moment. I know the money is in short supply. But I mean, our training course is nearly done. So our nurses are doing well. Orlando Flush over there, he's, he's getting treatment skills. And yes, I've only got the one nurse at the moment who is going to be specializing in diagnosis. But I'll I'll get more of those. We're just I'm just gonna work on that. It's it's not gonna happen straight away. Their training course is now complete for treatment. So let's go and have a look over here. Diagnostics 2, I have got one available. I've got three available in there. I don't want that. It is general practice 2 that I want in here. And you're going to do the training. And you're going to do the traineeing. And we're going to go like that. It's 34 days. So they're out of action for decent GPs just for a couple of days. Well, say a couple of days. For an entire month. Their chromotherapy is now being treated. So let's have a look. Chromotherapy Ready room. Year approaching. Ooh. Total revenue, 10 grand. One per 10 grand a time? That's pretty good. And this time round, we definitely haven't got no deaths. We've only had that once. And it's not going to happen. Best research, that's not happening. Hospital of the year, that's not happening. Open all. Just go open all. Patient's choice and employer of the year. There are worse reputations to have. So that one there, I've had one patient go through chromotherapy. Pan's Lab is the one that we've done a bit. We've had two. We've earned 17 grand. This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. You're tuned in to Two Point Radio, and I'm your host, Ricky Hawthorne. Stick around for some fabulous tunes and just a little bit of chatter. Patients for surgery now arriving. Right, we had a surgery request right there, so I've allowed them to come in. I got four patients for surgery turning up, which is potentially $80,000 coming in, which is fantastic. We want $80,000. 
I've got a surgeon and a nurse busy prepping for surgery. And here come the patients. They are the ones with the flashing lights. They're the first four straight in. That is actually a really good thing. Staff challenge. Earn $100,000 and then we gain some extra stuff. I always want to see a large sum of money in person. I don't want to roll around on it or anything. I'm not weird. I just want to look at it with my eyes. <laughs> I wouldn't mind looking at a stack of cash like that with my eyes. That would be pretty cool. Although I'd probably want to roll around on it as well because I am weird. Um, oh, there we go. General practice two. That is that bit done. Staff promotion. She's now able to be promoted, which means that we will be able to eventually train. Well, she'll have now another training slot, which means that that particular doctor is now available to be trained in general practice three, which would be pretty good. Uh, I don't have that's an outside trainer only, so I'm not going to do that. So you. Uh, i got to wait for that one for a little while, but I'm thinking that you could also be General Practice 3 or Psychiatry 2, and that way I've got sort of a, a General um, Assistant Doctor able to do a few things. Promote three staff in 180 days. Let's see if we can do that as well. Staff request. Did I accept that one? I don't think I accepted it. I'm not sure. I, I don't know if I accepted it or not. Right. Revenue and expenses. We've lost a bit more money. I need a new assistant. As soon as I can get some money, I will have another assistant. Then they can work over here and they can also do work elsewhere as well. Like, not just in here. They will also be able to work over here, which means it will be able to use this one. Because I'm not using this room at all yet. Which is not good. That's definitely something that we want. Ooh, Mariel, Ma Mariel visit. Mayor Tabitha Winsock is making a series of visits. Yes. Reputation is still poor. Yesterday was the 25th anniversary of my time here on Two Point Radio. Back then, we didn't have all these technological gizmos, you know. We had to wind up the records manually and shout really loudly. Oh, how times have changed. We have a VIP visiting okay. the hospital. Right. Um, surgery is underway. We are dealing with surgery patients. That's about to go up. Wow. That is quite the jump up to 128,000. But I've got surgery patients coming in now. And we all know surgery patients are pretty good. It's just that I've now got more staff coming through. And that's what's costing us a boatload of money. I will just make sure that my staff are doing the GPing correctly. Job assignment. Something went wrong there. Uh, you here are allowed in psychiatry as a backup psychiatrist. Deluxe, pan lab. So where are you working at the moment? Staff overview. Working in GP's office, working in GP... Right, well, that's good. They're, they're both working in the GP's offices. Challenge. Earn 100,000. Well done. Successful. Excellent. There's some K points. I've got another patient about to jump onto the chopping block right here. So that's going to be 10 grand coming in. Uh, I'm about to lose a boatload more money. Wow. We are losing a lot of money at the moment. Well, sort of losing money. We're sort of losing money. I'm also surgical patients. Two cured, one failed. I got one on the chopping block right there and 20 grand. That one's done. Three out of four cured. So there's another 10 grand that we get coming in. That was pretty good. I don't think we've got anybody else. But I've got the chromotherapy and I've got the doctor. Oh, he's yeah, doing that one with the extractor fan. I love that. The extractor pan room is making a bit of money. We've made our money back on that one. Publicity update. We got eight rep and ten K points right Maintenance there. Maintenance announcement. Go should be captured with the appropriate amount of respect. Go should be captured with respect. It, I'm not sure if we've got the reputation 25 and requires hospital level two. 
we're level 9, so I know that I've got that bit, but it doesn't actually tell me what reputation I've got. Like, it doesn't actually give me a number. One star. There's a load more money lost. I need turtle head, and the only way I'm going to do that is if I get a research room. I need to be able to get some money to be able to do that. Now, information data view. So it's not in there. Right, leaderboards over here. Jumbo Megacore, the Orb Foundation, Bungle Meditech and Holistics, and then me, little old Frithgar. Cure rate is 64%. Hospital value is only 177,000. My reputation is over here, 39%. So that's above the 25 required, and I'm above the right level for the hospital. So in order to get the quarter million dollar loan, I just need this to be 500,000 or more. That's the only bit that I now need to change in order to get everything overall up. Um, the profit factor makes a big difference. Physical assets make a difference and the loans make a bit of a difference as well. Overall, I think we're not going to be too far off of actually reaching that one. I just need to keep everything kind of ticking over. Yes, I've got quite a few staff and my staff are starting to get more money, which that's going to be the big bill. But what I really want is I want another one of those. I want another assistant. I've only got one assistant at the moment. So if I can get the money for another one, he will be able to assist on the desk and he'll also be able to work over here in the cafe. Two assistants would be better. Two assistants coming in. Staff challenge, staff morale of 75%, except currently it is 66%. I don't think there's a lot I can do about that, apart from just leave it and hope that it goes up. Staff promotion. Let's boost you up a little bit like that. And there, promote. Up to junior nurse. Uh, let me have a look in here. Training course. Quite a few staff have training available. Trainers, courses, six trainees. So those two there, I wanted to do more of that, but I can't afford to pay for it. I've got you. I could do uh, extra treatment on there, which I think would be good. The assistant, I could always train them up for more motivation or something along those lines. Maybe that would help a little bit. You, I cannot do diagnostics too, which is what I really desperately want for you until I've got more money. I'm 132 grand in the hole on this. Uh, I'm going to take you and I'm going to go for courses on there, which is basically that kind of stuff. And I'm going to go for treatment in here. I have no other trainees available for that one, but I do have trainers. And that would be you as the best one because you're 130%. That's 120, 120. Oh, wait. Dr. D. Barton over here. Teaching speed 180%. She's currently working in the PANS lab. I'm going to take you as my trainer. There. That course is 27 days. So we'll start that bad boy up there. Eight and a half grand. That one is another successful treatment. And then she's going to wander over and start training over on the other side. We've got the toilets being used over here, which is great. I got a whole load of patients that are not looking too healthy, but uh, we, we can kind of ignore all of that just for a minute. Getting more staff trained up is, is not necessarily a good thing because it's increasing my overall debt and my overall debt is currently my biggest problem it's been well it's, it's been my biggest problem right from day one hasn't it as soon as i started out i started out just going a little bit too excessive with the debt and i haven't changed that round i haven't i haven't turned that around have i that has been my big problem the whole way through and right here look student doctor to junior doctor up she goes Promote. A lot of patients queuing for services run by assistants. There aren't any available. Yes, I know I need another assistant. And I'm getting too far in debt because of my staff numbers. It's all to do with staff numbers. So what is this other doctor? What am I able to train her in? I'm, I let The training is, is doing great. 
Staff morale at 69%. That's, that's going up. That is good. We need staff morale to go up. Plenty of patients getting treated, so we've got some money coming in. I just don't have surgery working. Like, we need surgery. Training course complete. Let's go and have a look in here, then. And I've got trainees available. So I've now got another doctor over here, which we could do with treatment level two. You're going to be a treatment doctor. Courses available. Treatment two. I mean, I could go for surgery with you as well. I won't for a minute, no. We will just go for basic treatment in there. Treatment level two. 180%. 130. You're a really good trainer, so we're, you're going to do the training in here. Treatment level 2. Start training there. Treatment 2. Fan schmastic. prices are set at the discretion and greed of the hospital administrator. Discretion and greed of the hospital administrator. I'm assuming she's referring to me. I am the greedy one. I am the greedy overlord that is setting all of these prices. Look at this money going up. This is quite frightening. Just how rapidly that is rising. It's going to go up by another 40 grand in a minute. Any second now, actually. There we go. 31st and kablamo. You've been given an official warning due to our budget reaching 150,000. If it reaches at uh, minus 150. If it reaches minus 300, then we get shut down. We've been in this situation before. We managed to claw ourselves back. Only just. But we did do it. We did manage to do it. We just need the patients coming in. I've got the rep... Surgery. Yes, 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 yes. Spinal baps. They've been expelled from the Orb Wellness Centre. Bring them in. Now arriving. Patients for surgery are the ones that we want. They are the godsends. That is four patients. That makes 80 grand. And if we treat enough of them quick enough, we will get another 10 grand on top of that. Treatment two is now done. That's finished. So, yes, this is about to go up by a substantial amount. But I've got nurses in here in surgery. I've got a doctor in here in surgery. And I've got patients in here in surgery as well. Minus 134. And in comes the first one. At the beginning of the month there, 178. And yeah, I know, it's, 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 getting, it's getting bad. It's getting pretty grim around here. It is getting pretty grim, but it's going to be all right. There is the first patient on the chopping block. I mean the table, on the table. And <laughs> we're doing just fine. Surgery is away. I've got anything else going on over here for a minute. We're, we're not making use of these. I need this colorizer to be used. I sent so many people. We've used it twice. Oops. I didn't. I've sent so many people home In the previously. Event of an earthquake, please stay still. Right, you just got earned us 20,000. So you're going away. And you're working in surgery. Hopefully you're not planning to leave. No. Next patient in. Next patient is not going to be treated. It looks like we're getting through one a month in surgery. I'd like them to work faster. You're treated. Night fever is cured. 100, minus 136. So you're on the chopping block now. And that's going to go up. There we go. We know that it's going to be shut down soon. We know that we keep getting that. Even if my loans do finish, I can't do anything about the money at the moment. Because it's over the 150,000 that I want to get. Desperately need to get more. Ooh. Staff promotion. You're ready to promote... Bring you up, bring you up. But yeah, I want I want happy faces. Yes, it does cost me more money, but I want happy staff because happy staff mean. Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today. So we will return next time. In the meantime, if you have enjoyed this episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.